Thank you for purchasing Berkeley Veritronic Systems Pocket Hound cell phone detector. If after viewing this video overview, there is something that has not been covered or you have further questions, contact support at bvsystems.com. When you first receive your Pocket Hound cell phone detector, you will see the following included items. The Pocket Hound receiver, retractable USB charging cable, along with the USB charger, printed quick start guide, and the USB flash drive. The flash drive contains the PC software and digital versions of the quick start guide, video demos, and tutorial videos such as this one. To turn on your Pocket Hound, simply press in the black slider button on the side. You will see the green LED indicating the power is on. The Pocket Hound will begin immediately detecting nearby cell phone activity. For optimal performance of the Pocket Hound, make sure the Pocket Hound label is facing out towards the area of interest. The Pocket Hound ships from the factory set to auto threshold, but will remember the last setting of the user has selected even after it is powered off. Push the button to show the threshold setting. The blue LED on the far left indicates auto threshold is currently active. Auto threshold is a setting you will probably use the most. In this setting, the Pocket Hound will measure the RF noise floor of the area and apply its own smart filtering so that cellular phones will only trigger the device and not other sources of RF energy and interference. Sometimes areas with a high concentration of metal or glass may introduce too much interference or shield cellular activity from the Pocket Hound receiver, so it might be necessary to switch to manual threshold in these cases. Push in the button to check the threshold mode. If the blue LED to the far left is lit, you need to scroll down to select manual threshold. The second blue LED from the left will light up. Push the button to select manual threshold mode. Now if there is no nearby cellular activity, you will see no LEDs lit. To begin detecting cellular activity in this mode, press the thumb wheel so the blue LEDs turn off. The Pocket Hound is now ready for detecting cellular activity. Remember, the Pocket Hound will not detect any cellular activity until after you press the thumb wheel and exit this mode. There are 10 manual threshold levels. To be sure you know what levels you are at, you need to zero the unit by toggling the wheel down 10 times. Then you can proceed to set the level from 1 to 10 by toggling the wheel up one increment at a time. Keep in mind that the unit will still detect RF as you are setting the threshold, so it may vibrate. The ideal setting will be slightly higher than the background RF level or noise floor. Remember, the higher level you toggle up, the higher you are raising the threshold. Raising the threshold scans for stronger signals, while lowering the threshold scans for weaker or more distant signals. So if your pocket hound is constantly triggering, you should raise the threshold to ignore most of that RF noise and concentrate on the stronger cellular signals. And if your pocket hound is not alerting you when you are sure there is nearby activities, you should lower that threshold down to look for weaker signals. If you plan to walk around with pocket hound in your hand or pocket, change back to auto threshold so you will not have to manually change the threshold every time you enter a new environment. To do this, push in on the toggle wheel to see the threshold mode. Press up and you will change the blue LED back to the far left. Push the button again and you will have now entered back into auto threshold mode. Auto threshold level only adjusts after a new level is detected for at least 20 seconds. So if you're moving too fast from one area to another, your Pocket Hound Auto Threshold will not be able to adjust too quickly to changing environments. Allow at least 20 seconds in each new area. The Pocket Hound will vibrate and the lights will light up, alerting you to nearby activities. The blue LEDs vary according to signal strength from left to right. 
One LED indicates a low signal level, while four indicates a higher signal level. There is not a direct indication of distance from the cellular activity. There are too many variables in RF detection to accurately relate to distance, so you should only use these indications as a rough guide. As you get closer to an active cell phone, you can expect to see the signal strength rise. When you are finished with the Pocket Hound, turn it off by holding it in the power button for three seconds. The green LED will turn off, so your Pocket Hound is now off. The Pocket Hound may be charged while it is either on or off. If you plan to keep it on and actively scan it while charging, plug in the USB mini cable and the LED to the far right will turn up orange to indicate that fast charging is enabled. Allow for two hours for a full charge in this mode. If you plan to charge the Pocket Hound overnight while it's off, plug in the USB mini cable into the charging port and the LED to the far right will turn red. Allow up to nine hours for a full charge in this mode. To confirm the Pocket Hound is fully charged, turn the unit off and connect the USB cable to the unit. If the red LED turns on for a brief moment, then the unit is fully charged. Before you can do anything with the Pocket Hound software, you must transfer the contents of the USB stick onto your desktop. To do this, uh, highlight all of the items within the folder of the USB stick, copy, and then paste them to your destination folder. In order to use the Pocket Hound software, you must install the USB driver of the unit first. Plug in the Pocket Hound to your computer via the USB cable. Then turn the Pocket Hound on. You must then navigate to your device manager. To do this, go to Control Panel, and then select System. Then select Device Manager. The Pocket Hound usually appears under Ports. You then must highlight the port and then right click until the scroll down appears. From the scroll down, you want to select Update Driver Software. When this window appears, you want to choose the second choice, which is Browse My Computer for the driver. And then on this window, you will want to click on Browse and point it to the USB driver which was located in the, fold, in the Pocket Hound folder, which is on your desktop. You could then click Next, and then Close. The Pocket Hound is now ready to be used with the PC software. Double click on the, PC, the Pocket Hound PC software, and then Select the port that appears from the scroll down. The serial number, along with the firmware version, will appear. The settings allow you to control the Pocket Hound much like you would using the thumb wheel, except this way uh, allows you for greater accuracy. The trigger level setting is either set for automatic or manual, depending on the last setting that was used in the Pocket Hound. The manual trigger level allows you to control the sensitivity of the unit between 0 and 1000. This was, you can also control this using the thumb wheel, but using this method allows for greater accuracy. The band selection allows you to choose the country that you're in, uh, depending on your location. The bar graph gives you continuous feedback on the RF activity in your particular area.
Here are some frequently asked questions for the Pocket Hound unit. Does the unit pick up cell phones when they are off? No, the Pocket Hound will only detect cell phones when they are on. Keep in mind, however, the cell phone must be either making a phone call, sending a text message, or transmitting a beacon in order for the Pocket Hound to detect it. Will the Pocket Hound detect a cell phone when it is on but not making a phone call? Yes, since all cell phones send out beacons to remain in communication with their carrier, the Pocket Hound will detect these beacons. The time between these beacons can be anywhere from once every 30 seconds to once every 30 minutes. How long does it work on batteries? For the standard Pocket Hound, the user can, can expect to use the unit between an hour and a half to two hours on a fully charged battery. For the Pocket Hound Plus, the user can expect to use the unit for up to four hours. Does the intensity of the vibration of the unit correspond with signal strength? No, the vibration of the Pocket Hound remains constant regardless of the signal strength. How can I use the Pocket Hound to determine the direction of a cell phone signal? The unit does have an antenna located underneath the Pocket Hound label. The Pocket Hound unit, however, is more of a tool to alert you of cell phone activity within a certain area. Berkeley Veritronics does offer cell phone detector tools with direction finding capabilities. If you are interested, please contact our sales team.